Hi, I'm Laura from TechSoup, and I want to help you learn how to use Adobe InDesign Creative Cloud 2015. For this module, let's take a closer look at how to create text boxes and work with type in documents. Here is the type tool on the InDesign toolbar. I'm creating a text box here, and I'm going to type in a return address for the outside envelope of my fundraiser invitation. The default font is set to Minion Pro, but I want to use the Lao UI font. I'm going to click on the arrow to the right of the font field near the upper left corner of the screen and choose Allow UI Font. To change the size, you can select a standard size from the list or you can enter an exact number. I can also scale the number up or down in small increments, which I'm doing here in order to make the first line of type exactly match the image in length. The default text color is black. I can also choose any color for my font here, like green, by, select, by clicking on this small down arrow in this panel and selecting CMYK and then clicking on the colored ball, bar below where it's green. I actually want my text color to be black, so I'm going to undo my color changes using Control Z. If I wanted to make the type a dark gray, I could use the percentage box here and enter 70%. Remember, whenever you make a mistake or want to go back, Control Z is your best friend. First, I need to set up some guides for the tagline. And so we're going to use the guides to keep the tagline in an area free of where the barcode will be printed. I'm going to click on the selection tool, which is located at the top of the toolbar on the left-hand side of the program window. Then I click on the ruler near the top of the screen and hold down the mouse. If you don't see the ruler on your screen, go to the View menu and choose Show Rulers. Now I'm going to create the tagline. I insert a text box and click on the Type tool. Then I draw a box in the lower left corner of the envelope. In the text box, I'm going to type Celebrating Our Successes. With the Type tool selected, I highlight the text. In the font field in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, I click on the down arrow and select the font called Gabriola. In the font size field, I change the font from 12 point to 40 point. Here I need to manually enter the number 40 because it's not one of the standard sizes provided in the drop-down menu. If I need to expand the text box, I make sure the selection tool is selected. Then I click the small square on the right edge of the text box and drag the edge of the text box to the right until I can see all of the text. With the text box selected and the selection tool active, I'm going to nudge the text box down so that the bottom of the words align with the guide and the letter C is touching the left margin of the envelope. Remember, I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to nudge downwards and to the right or left. That's it for this module. Now you know how to use the text tool and how to insert and manipulate text on your documents.